Hey there, Justin from Ujoin Offroad in Colorado here. I'm sending this one home today. It's a real special one. It's a 2005 uh, E450 V10 with a 5R110 trans. So this one was really cool to do. Um, this is actually a repeat customer for us, our good buddy Craig and his wife. Um, we did their other 19 foot Japanese import Bigfoot for them a little while ago. And uh, they loved it so much that they brought this one back to do as well. So standard recipe stuff. Standard RV six inch four wheel drive conversion kit, custom spec Alcan Springs, Fox 2.0s. This thing had really low miles, so the frame didn't need a ton of work. Um, just trimmed up the factory front bumper. See, it's got our frame brace back there. Then we rewired all these lights. They weren't that well done, so we did all that for them. Um, got our new stage three front axle, 456 gears, Detroit True Track. All the track, Dynatrack goodies from the knuckles out, 14 and a half inch rotors. Um, got a big Hellwig sway bar in the front as well. Standard wheels and tires, the American Racings, Falcons, uh, 285, 70, 17 in the front. Um, not much in the way of accessories. Um, this one did have the, uh, the driveline brake on it, which is pretty odd for a 5R110, but have seen it before. Um, so just took the driveline brake off and bolted this up, and then we do a, um, a ball valve for a parking brake. I'll give you a little peek inside. We usually don't do inside stuff, but this thing is like a time capsule. These Bigfoots are super cool on the inside. The bodies are really well built. They're very well insulated. All the cabinetry and everything's all solid oak and everything. But yeah, I love these things. You can just tell driving it down the road that the body is really, really well built. They don't make them like this anymore. And there's, of course, transfer case shifter. And there's all our goodie bag and everything to go home with. Um, this wheelbase works out really well because we can run a four inch one piece drive shaft. Um, so Dana 70 in the back, it was already 456 gears. Um, already had that big old monster Roadmaster sway bar on there. So we just did our links on that. Of course, custom spec Alcan Springs. Extra heavy pack on these things because this thing is, these things are just very, very, very heavy. So 1350 CV drive shafts front and back. Standard Dodge 17 inch wheels in the back. Custom machined. And then we got our 255-80-17 Falcon Wild Peak in the back. Um, something new we're doing on all of these RVs now. So we're doing our custom Alcan HD shackles. So you can kind of get a peek at it up there. Let me see if I can get my flashlight. So it's made out of eighth inch wall steel. So we're doing those on all of our uh, RV builds now. So got the axle all cleaned up and refinished. Um, we also, it had a spare tire crank in it, but we had to make it work for the, uh, the larger wheel and tire. So we got that underneath here also. And that's about it. This is a clean unit. These things are hard to find, but they're still out there. So don't be afraid of these older rigs. There's still a lot of good value left in them. This thing drives just as good as a modern one. So if you got any questions uh, for me here in Colorado, uh, email me at justin at ujoinoffroad.com. If you got any questions about a DIY kit or a conversion to North Carolina, uh, email chris at ujoinoffroad.com. Thanks.